Okay, so I just finished the haul video and I said at the end I was going to do a room tour, but then I accidentally shut my 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 camera off, <laughs> my recording. So yeah, I'm just going to do it um, and I'll post it for like tomorrow, for Friday. So we'll start in this corner. We have my neon ball and this is going to be a little sewing desk, not for like sewing my business sewing, but like junk journal sewing and things like that and maybe like little mug, mug rugs and stuff and I kind of just got stuff piled everywhere um this is a shelf that goes on the wall it's really cool actually um it's got a cork board on it and then inside oh come on inside it holds paper and it's got spaces for like all kinds of stuff like I used to have my scissors hung there and little pockets and little drawers and um yeah I'm not probably not going to use that here I don't think because it's good to have right beside you um right beside your workspace when you craft because it has all the little like necessary tools and I don't really it opens the other direction to where well I'll show you here this is my work table I am sorry about the mess I just did the haul I've been sorting paper it's ridiculous in here and there's the gift bags that I just like took out of the bag to show um so yeah we got one table here and then other table going that way but the shelf opens the other way so yeah it wouldn't be practical for me to put it there um and I mean I've got like these carts and stuff anyway so I don't know I don't think I'll really use it but we'll see um got my card catalog and thank you Deb Deb came up with the idea to get a coffee table one of the, like the big old heavy ones Sorry, I don't know why that's not focusing. Um, or one out of focus, probably from my finger. Um, yeah, so I went online, found one, and uh, sent the guy a message and went and picked it up last night. So same day. Um, and then Rob put it, put, we put the card catalog on it. And then these, um, he brought those from upstairs this morning. Not sure if that's where that's staying. Um, yeah, so... Again, miscellaneous stuff. Got my little rolly cart. So this is the shelf with my like reference books, the books that I'll be going to to pull images out of. I say that, but like these, the the uh, Better Homes and Gardens books are probably gonna end up being journals themselves. But yeah, anyway, so like I've got like gardening and nature over here. So like bird books, herb books, all things like that. That. Yeah, if I feel there's enough in the book that I, I can pull out of it, you know, for quite a while. And if I'm going to harvest the book and then like three quarters of the book will end up in a file somewhere, then I might as well just leave the book whole, right? Um, then over here, we got cookbooks. Here is language. So this is like um, anything in like the text is foreign language or um, like non-English, sorry, foreign to me, um, or like dictionaries, things like that. Um, down here is school. So any like readers and things like that, or math books, physics books, whatever. And then over here is like poetry and quotes and things. I didn't know I had so many of those. I didn't know I had so much of this. Um, over here, um, is like reference kind of books. So there's cat, well, there's catalogs, there's a uh, like Heloise's home hint like tips there's um automotive books there's all kinds of things like that uh this is sheet music or music I guess it's not sheet music it's in a book um and then this is um oh yeah I took out the writing because I had some like calligraphy books and typing books and things like that so I put that separate since the school was so full in language um and then this stuff is kind of a mishmash um over here it's almost all of my coloring books um, which will be going into journals as pages. And then here's a few that didn't kind of have a home, but I will rearrange some stuff and make a home for them. Um, oh, there's some more English, more language books and atlases and, um, yeah, needlework and sewing. All right. And then under there, I got my polymer clay because it fits so well in there. And then over here, you can see I got my, um, my, all my rolled up paper, wallpaper, whatever. Do, do, do. So then over here, this little shelf that I just happen to have in my living room, I'm not too keen on it. It's like, it's like MDF and it's not too pretty, but I measured it and this thing fits this wall exactly. So yeah. And then when we were moving, we went to move the tables around. So I took my stack of journals off the table and I set them out here and we're like, Deb and I were both like, okay, those look really good there. So I think this will end up being for all of my journals and glue books and everything. 
Um, there are more than that. There's my little golden books. All of them except for the holiday ones. Um, yeah, so I got some stuff going on in this folder, uh, filing cabinet. In the white filing cabinet behind the door, I have um, all of my file folders. Finally, I got those all unpacked. Um, there's some images there that I just need to sort into the files. I've got three boxes of those. Um, in here, I'm going to haul a few things out uh, that I want to have in the room. Um, this shelf is really cool. I like this shelf. It's one of the like recollections or whatever it was, making memories or whatever. Um, I think we're going to put it on this wall right here. It's going to be a little high, but I, it's going to be like, I'm just going to have like ornaments and things on it. So it's not stuff I'll have to reach. Um, oh yeah, this, this, this box. So Deb saw this box trash and I was like, can you believe that I not only moved trash, I paid to store trash. And she's like, this is trash. You're throwing this stuff out. What are you doing? And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's trash that I saved for journaling. So like all of these boxes, <laughs> all of these boxes from Paper Gang uh, Stationery Club, oh, drop that on the floor, are going to be, or at least one or two of them anyway, is going to be like a trashy journal. I love them. They're so pretty. So I gave her a few of those. Yeah, I was like here. Um, yeah, so I've been sorting stuff. This is where I've been sorting stuff. Um, then this is the stuff that I had gotten sorted into boxes and I need to find like cabinets, homes for it or whatever, um, like games and playing cards and that, uh, that most of that stuff will probably go in the card catalog. Um, oh yeah. What do I have? Oh, blank notebooks and sketchbooks. Let's not talk about how many of those I have. Um, and then, oh yeah, binders and things that I have like empty binders and things that, um, I might make into journals. I don't know. And then this whole thing is full of a um, couple gift bags, but mostly uh, gift wrap and tissue paper. And then I've got my doilies all tucked in there too in their packages. Okay. Yeah. Miss paper stuff. Those should be together. I guess. Or no, there is another box for Miss paper stuff. I don't know where it is. Then this stuff is all stuff that's going to go into my lovely paper cabinet, which is going to go, let me back up here. It's going to go from that wall over to approximately this mark. So see, yeah, we've got the table kind of uh, a little bit past that and we'll just snug it up. So yeah, that's my paper shelf, my mail sorting or whatever paper shelf. Um, that's where all of my, like most of my papers that I'm not leaving in a book, most of the papers that I want to use, I'll want to use in signatures will go in there. So like I got plain papers, I've got, um, yeah, what else? I don't know. <laughs> I've got all kinds of, yeah, like file folders and like card stocks and stuff. So yeah. And then I got stuff for signatures. Yeah. So my blank papers and things like that will all go in there. And then in there is the craft room and six boxes of books that I need to harvest the images from. Scrapbooking paper. Yeah. So that's uh, pretty well it. I've got my trim going on kind of sorted, um, but it no longer fits in that blue cabinet. So I'm going to need to come up with something different for my trim some sort of different storage idea. Either that or I'm going to need to really purge. Um, and yeah, there's a few of these totes. Like this one's like my paper scraps and my painting paper and stuff. I think I'll put that underneath the table. Um, there might be, oh yeah, over here. This is my colored paper that I don't put into my colored glue books. I still have it sorted by color. Anyway, um, I picked out my favorite stuff to put in colored glue books. And then I have like a couple here, my rubber stamps and stuff. Gotta find homes for them. Yeah. So that's about it that's uh the little update it's uh it's it looks like a big mess right now but it's actually pretty organized um even though there's boxes and stuff they all they've been sorted and everything um yeah so like this is all my vintage stuff or vintage look yeah so that's uh that and again sorry how messy stuff is in here i do have a dustpan don't have a room <laughs> let's bring one from downstairs so yeah, it's, um, now that we have the furniture rearranged, thank you so much, Deb. I can, um, I, I can sort stuff and put stuff away and find homes for everything. All right. So thanks for watching and, uh, I will keep you updated. Take care. Bye.